mostly anti-gun. Why do you I think know. that is? I'm just curious. I think it's a lot of like liberal identity politics. How can we like break that like discourse? Yeah, it's a good question. I think that look, I don't think gun ownership should be political. I don't. And like this is one of the arguments I always make for like BLM people, right? It's like if you think you're getting hunted down, then like responsibly own guns, right? Um, but there is a fear around gun ownership in America. I think it should transcend you know, sexual persuasion or skin color, right? I think it, I think it's a moral right for all people, especially if you think, I mean, especially women who are, you know, potentially at a physical disadvantage from defending themselves, right? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cox's surprising conversation with gay college students on gun control. Okay, this is gonna be amazing. I would love us to check this video out together. I can't actually kick it because of kicking us. Let's get right into this video. I want to talk about like gun control. Okay. Gun control. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um. So I know, like, you know, we have a Second Amendment. We're like protected to owning like firearms. Yes. Um. As a gay person, I often fear of like retaliation, um, hate crimes. I've actually been mugged a few times um, wearing stuff that may not seem as normal as this okay um what can like we do from like a second amendment perspective to like help bring people into like the fold of like gun ownership in yeah. order for like self-protection yeah i think that's a thoughtful question i mean like i i think i mean if you you've been mugged and everything like i'm sorry that happened to you the guns are great equalizer right yeah and so I think that people like you need to speak up and be like, look, if you think you're going to be terrorized or you're going to be hunted, like a gun is a moral right to be able to defend yourself and your liberty, right? And your family or your people you love. I mean, I suppose it'd be a better question for you, right? Like, what do you think that a majority of gay people are pro, pro guns or anti? I'm just curious. Like, I, um, Mostly anti-gun. Why do you I think know. that is? I'm just curious. I think it's a lot of like liberal identity politics. How can we like bridge that like discourse? Yeah, it's a good question. I think that, look, I don't think gun ownership should be political. Mm -hmm. I don't. And like, this is one of the arguments I always make for like BLM people, right? It's like, if you think you're getting hunted down, then like responsibly own guns, right? Um, but... There is a fear around gun ownership in America. I think it should transcend, you know, sexual persuasion or skin color, right? I think it, I think it's a moral right for all people, especially if you think, I mean, especially women who are, you know, potentially at a physical disadvantage from defending themselves, right? Um, and I mean, you got mugged a couple of times. I don't know if the, pe the person who mugged you is a man or a woman, I don't know, but um, like, if you were in a situation where you're physically disadvantaged, like a, a firearm could equalize that, right? Yeah, it's a pretty like out there too. Is it taboo, like tactic almost? Yeah, or? like I'm very like, no, go for it, like get into a girl. But then it's also just kind of like, not really, I don't want to say like frowned upon, but just kind of like, whoa, that's a bit much from like someone like me. But I just thought I asked Well, I want to encourage you, like, me. don't let that get to you. I'm much more like, pro-gun ownership and, like, second-amendment type of Yeah, okay. And that's because of necessity? Like, basically, what, what happened Like what happened to you? Or just... um, yeah, but also just more of, like, you know, community defense, I would say. Sure. I mean, I just, I don't think people should be, like, shooting each other on the streets or, like, dueling, obviously. No, I don't support that, obviously. I know, right, yeah. Yeah. But, like, it's definitely something that I think that, like, a lot more, like, LGBT people should really take into account just to protect ourselves and, like, like some people. Yeah, look, I totally agree. Like, I, I mean, if you believe you're being targeted or you're in a marginalized position like that's what the second amendment is partially there for right i mean one of the reasons so yeah i just wanted to ask you because you're like a very big like political person so yeah i would just like i would just kind of take it from a moral argument too right which is like if you believe like who are you going to trust to defend yourself that's what i would take right so it's like if you trust do you trust the police which obviously is not a big thing around here right yeah <laughs> if do you trust like you know, I don't know, someone that you think will hurt you, then the, the, the thing, the moral argument of the Second Amendment is that you should be responsible for your own autonomy and your own, you know, your own safety, right? There's other reasons too, but. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thoughtful question. In the terms of defending yourself, I feel like you should get um, a transqualizer. Uh, you should get uh, if pepper spray. If you get, you should get, you should for who you gone in order to defend yourself, because that is the reason why the Second Amendment was tried there, in the sense of us to be able to defend ourselves in the case of um, such things that occurs. So um, the funny thing is that a lot of gay is actually 
um, a lot of gay people are actually um, anti-gun. They don't believe in, um, in in that. And why is that? Is because of the um, politics that is going on. Uh, we all know. I feel like politics not ought not to be part of uh, and they have to do with gun control and, in, in a sort of way because people need to protect the safe from some certain um, crisis some, for some certain havoc. Because if you observe what is really happening in America, I notice that if you don't try to defend yourself, no one else can, will do that for you. You have to be ready to stand for yourself and defend yourself in case of all this um, chaos or, or havoc that comes up to be an aspect of the beam morgue because it's, it's, it's something that happens a lot. So you have to be ready to like defend yourself. You understand? So I love actually answered him and the answers was very precise and the this was a very matured conversation. The dialogue was beautiful to listen to. And I, I enjoyed the entire video. It was it was really, really very it was very mature and I was not expecting to be like this because most gay people that come on Charlie Show is just to interrupt him and also like to say far words against him and abuse him. But this gay man was actually yet for him himself to to get clarity about how he should defend himself and the aspects of like being mocked and well, how well, how does the Second Amendment come in place in such aspects? I really love the entire discussion and how mature it is. I observed the crowd um, expression that what they were actually discussing was actually like sensible and and right. So comment down below, talk about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as you can, subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, you're in my bed. I